Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dahlia Society and as requested, I have mum back on our screens. Hello everybody, <laughs> good morning to you all. We're going to talk a bit about some brand new fabrics and patterns and also I've got to show you guys what was in the last two boxes because I've been really slack and we're already up to our new box uh, launching it Sunday. It comes around very quickly. Gosh. This year <laughs> has already just flown, hasn't it? So. Sunday week. night. Yeah, we're going to get ready for boxes again. So it's going to be oh. a beautiful thing called Wild at Heart. Yeah, so it looks, looks very I, nice. I love the look of this. <laughs> and one, the actual pattern featured in it is a fairly new pattern. So you're not going to want to get yeah. the discount off that one. But you can't wait to be sending all these boxes out and getting mm. them off. I love, I love the tiger on your web. The Sorry. website, yeah, was it was a, le was a leopard or a no, tiger? I can't remember I'm now. Not being... It's something wild. So <laughs> <laughs> that kind of gives you a bit of an inkling as to the theme. And I've had a couple of people say, "Is it loud? Is it really?" Loud? And it's not. It's quite subdued. It's all I'm going to say uh, because I know a lot of you can be scared of anything too out there and too. Yeah. Um, you know, you might not want to stand out really loud, but you also might not want to be just a plain Jane. You might not want to say in between. So I think you're going to really like the fabric. Yeah, I, I would wear it. Yeah. I love it. I really love it. I can't wait for <laughs> you to something. see. <laughs> um, and we're going to talk about what we're wearing. Actually, Mum's got oh, a brand new make. I made a um, Patton Emporium, another one in cake skirts, so it's slay all day. A new pattern from Patton Emporium. A lot of you have loved it. That's, I, in, that's in the ponty? Yeah, the black ponty. Yeah. And I only have a little, a little thing in the back. Sweet. You didn't want to go for the big no, revealing no, legs? No, no, not with my legs. <laughs> No, oh, come on. I'm going to flush some legs. I've have a nice pair of boots. <laughs> I reckon that's a fabulous. Don't you like the waistband? Oh, yeah, the waistband's great. I haven't made yep. one with a waistband before like that. No, it's awesome. so easy. No. Yeah, it's like a double faced waistband. And it holds yep. you in sort of firmly. Yes, that's You're what not I like. Too firm. Because yeah. I don't, sometimes I don't want just an elastic waist that's going to sort mm. of roll or flop over. That's that, right. That kind of gives you. Yes show you what we mean is a double face so you've got the two layers and it's yeah. a nice wide curved yeah. waistband yeah and yeah. you found the um ponty did you size up with the ponty or not did you no no, no i you just went to the 14. See, there you go because you know yeah. what the viscose ponty has got quite a lot yes of, if you can see here i didn't want it too sort of it's loose. not a real tight ponty it's got a nice little yeah. bit of drape so if you're wanting i want a little bit firm around the tummy so yep to, yeah i like oh. that waistband it's <laughs> awesome no definitely yeah. i can highly recommend that skirt yeah. pattern yeah, um, but right. yeah, definitely with the viscose ponty, it's uh, and all the knits and that you've got coming yes. in. And... We've got heaps coming in the next yeah. couple of weeks. We've also got another huge delivery of the very popular Australian merino boil wool that's coming, uh, and I'm going to be getting some new colours. So I've right. ordered um, a really nice moss colour green, which mm. oh, my goodness, I'm in love with the um, like a sand beigey colour. Yeah. Sounds and good. the law of the navy and teal because they have been so popular and a lot of my overseas customers have been buying that wool yeah, as well. Yeah, well, you well. can't get it overseas. A lot of um, my US customers, hello to you all there. You're yeah. saying it's how hard it's to get um, good quality boil or wool, any kind of wool, but particularly yeah. boil wool. Over so, the tailors over in the UK. They get Australian wool. There you go. I think when yes. we were watching about the wool, oh, oh, yes. <laughs> the coronation, they were talking about the suits. They were getting yes, Australian wool, weren't yes, they? So that's right. They get it from Australia. We've well. got really good wool, apparently. So there you go. So you definitely can't wait mm. to get that wool, wool in. I've been and getting a lot of requests for sweater, fleece, batch sweater knits. They are all coming as well. So some really warm, cuddly things. Mm. And that cable knit yes hasn't that flown it we've just about sold it yeah, it's beautiful quality too <laughs> yeah, yeah we've yeah, we've had heaps of people say the yeah. quality is nice Lovely soft and soft and yeah even though it's got a bit of polyester in there it's got a good uh, mixed poly viscose and a bit of spandex mm. the actual soft and cuddly um the quality of it is just beautiful so yeah. um yeah we're going to be restocking all the colors in that as well and we've got a bit of the chocolate brown the red and mm. a bit of teal left and that's about it the rest of it and black yeah. But the rest of it's just um naturally the amethyst went first. Yeah, mum's mum's favourite colour. <laughs> that purple actually. colour. Isn't it funny? Purple's so popular all I the know. time. But um but yeah, heaps of new stuff coming. Yeah. And I've got on um the blouse that was the fabric from the Free Dark Carlo Inspired box from May. Uh, I'm going to talk about that unboxing at the end of this video. But this is my So House 7 Regalia blouse. Mm -hmm. It's got that nice little tie at the back. And lovely puff, really. Um, it's almost like um that that leg of mutton sleeve they call it, which is like puff, oh, but it goes in lovely. narrow and it curves. Oh, it's so nice to make. 
Um, but really a great pattern, again, from Peggy from Soha 7. Really love this. But I'm going to go through that box uh, at the end of the, this uh, fabric feature and also our birthday box, which I haven't talked about too much as well. Um, if you want to go back and look at unboxings, uh, uh, Deb from DB Designs um, just about does one every month. And I think Hayley is catching up. She has got uh, the birthday opening box uh, opening and also I think the Frida one, she said she's... Mm. She hasn't edited. She's been off for a month. Yeah. Had lots going off, and we've really missed watching yeah, Hayley. Haven't we? Hayley. She's, all right. <laughs> she's back on our screen again now. So hi, <laughs> Hayley. So can't wait to see all your unboxings again. Uh, and Catherine from So Much Sewing over in New Zealand. I think she did the Frida Kahlo one as well. So there's plenty if you want to see it, like a proper unboxing. You'll see it there. But mm -hmm. we're going to talk about um, fabrics. Now, Phoebe is out today. She's in the city. She's going to see uh, well, she's going to see a lovely um, Japanese folk artist singer at uh -huh. the Forum upstairs. Phoebe is a really huge like music fan, and she goes for some really interesting, yes. um, not, maybe not a well-known artist that come over from overseas. So just about every week, I think she's going, and she goes on her own a lot of the time. And she's coming home tonight. Oh, she arrives. So she couldn't be here today, but she will be here next week. So right. I'm going to link the artist she's seen because I can't pronounce her name. She's right, a okay. beautiful um, singing voice, uh, this Japanese um, folk singer. She's um, like a lot of – it sounds like almost 60s, oh, like folks, beautiful voice, but she's going yeah. to like a really intimate show upstairs at the Forum Theatre here in Melbourne. So, yeah. Right. But I've been getting her to help me. Um, look into getting new fabrics. We're also going to be sourcing um, some items from Vogue in France, which is exciting, mm -hmm. some really cute sewing things. And also a really gorgeous brand that Phoebe's been telling me to get for ages called Suju from France. And they have a shop in Versailles that is just on our bucket list to go wow. to. We really want to go to this shop one day and just have a look at all the beautiful trims, little scissors and embroidery bits mm. and pieces. So we'll be stocking some of that uh, coming up in the near future. So lots happening, lots of new things. Uh, and also before we start on the fabrics, we've got another lot of Guterman Mariflex thread has been restocked and it's already wow. selling. And yeah. the colours, we're having a hard time getting a lot of yeah, colours, even their suppliers. It's just like, oh, they're selling out so quickly. Mm. Um, so, yeah, if you're wanting some Guterman thread, Definitely think about that. Now, our first restock of the week was this amazing Swedish tracing paper from Pat and Trace. We sold out that first lot in like lightning speed. <laughs> and I know that we were waiting on our packaging to come. Oh, so, yeah. some of the interesting way we had to package <laughs> the first lot that went out, my apologies. We wanted to make sure we didn't get them um, damaged and bent. So, we had to think of some really genius uh, ways of boxing them up. <laughs> but now we have our proper packaging, they won't be so interestingly packed but that is um a lot of you are saying how marvelous that is it is really good tracing paper and people have said it's almost like that fiber like it's like fabric people do um tissue fitting and that kind of thing mm. with it as well as tracing um their patterns out so if you want some of that pattern trace paper it is restocked in the store and i'm also getting new pattern trace makers journals and all the other bits and pieces restocked because it's just been so popular in store Brand new okay. fabric for this week. We've got a lovely uh, autumnal vibe ITY jersey. It's called Foliage of Foil. Uh, foliage of Fall. Fall? Yeah, Foliage <laughs> of Fall. Or autumn, as we call it here. Uh, it is a really lovely stone colour background with a really vibrant colour leaf. Lovely lot of drape as well there. And I know of, uh, one of my customers... Uh, Robin from the US. Hi, Robin. She's actually bought some boiled wool and the colours of the boiled wool, yeah. all three colours that we've got so far match this perfectly. So I would love to see this done in a, a wrap dress of some kind. I think it would be absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, the, mm. name, the name Delivia would be nice or maybe a Patton Emporium fit and flare dress. But the gorgeous autumnal colours in that uh, are really pretty, but I think that boiled wool would look perfect, wouldn't oh, it? Yes. And one that I absolutely love, and I've already taken two two meters for myself. Yes. I'm making a jacket out of this. This oh. is just the most beautiful jacquard. Um, look at the underside of it. Mm. Now I didn't realize when I bought it that it was going to be equally as beautiful on the underside because sometimes with jacquards you just have mm. that woven effect. But this has got the underneath. And the top, which is equally as beautiful. So you can have reverse. Oh my goodness! Know? I was going to yeah. actually line it, and then I thought, "There's no way I'm lining that no. now because look at it." Imagine that with a beautiful piping. And mm. um, the pattern that I'm actually going to be making with mine is the very popular Nage Libre jacket from Mason Fove. I want to make the cropped shorter version because I've got lots of long jackets 
Mm. And I think it would look really nice. I've got a really pretty lilac colour merino wool that I want to make a little a sweater top underneath this. I think it would look bring it that colour mm. perfectly. Have a look at it. It is just so pretty. But what are your thoughts? Do you like the underside or do you like the the outside? This is the underside. It's just so beautiful. It's like little um, fireworks all over. Mm. I just think it's really, really pretty. And beautiful. it's a nice weight jacquard, not too heavy, because I've had jacquards in the, in the past that are just like wearing, like, you know, it's mm. too heavy to wear. You're not comfortable. But that's got a nice, lovely lightweight. Very popular patent company, Italia Jupe, have launched their brand new summer, uh, high summer fabrics and patterns. And, of course, we're in winter, but I have had so many people purchase these Maybe in preparation for the warmer weather, or even maybe they're living places that it is warm. They're not always not always cold here in Darwin. Australia. It's pretty warm up there. Yes, <laughs> and I love it that my customers actually in Darwin have just um, they always buy the, the summery fabrics because they're not wearing coats. Yes, no, and even northern Queensland, yeah, you don't really need coats up there a lot of the time. Mm. But um, in saying that, I've also had people um, from northern Queensland and WA and Northern Territory buy. My cable knits. So obviously it gets cold at night time there, so you need a bit mm -hmm. of everything. But the Italia Jupe range is just stunning. This is the Lee or Leah dress. I think it's the Lee. Would you say it's Lee or Leah? It's L-E-A. Leah. Could something. be either. Oh. Um, but look at that beautiful dress. And I know that um, I did feature that in my uh, new patterns for June. Um, it is gorgeous. Mm. See, Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door made that. Yes. It looks so gorgeous on her. She had a sew along too, didn't she? Oh, I don't know for that one, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah. But that's just a beautiful dress. And the fabric that's showcased in that is this really pretty viscose. Have a look at the colour. It is uh, very light. Amazing, that colour. I am just such a fan of that blue. Your, your pops blue. I've got this <laughs> Tropicana bits going on everywhere here. But love that. That is a really pretty fabric. I'll show you the other ones that came out in the same collection. I haven't got all of them, but I will be getting them heading on into the warmer weather. There are about three other. Um, there's two tie-dye prints and a really pretty um, yellow, bright, fun graphic print. Mm -hmm. They will be coming a bit later on. Um, but for now, I've got this um, is the beautiful abstract lines one, which I've had a few people buying already. And I think you could definitely put that with winter colours and the chocolate browns and plums. It'll go really nicely for all year round. That one is really vibrant and pretty as well. And the other ones we had were from the earlier um, spring-summer collection. This one is an absolute beauty. Look how pretty that is with the mm. almost like a gold throughout it. Um, I like that blue isn't too, that really. pretty? Now I'm I always go for dark base, but I I'm saying that wearing a white base, but I love that for all mm. year round, and I think it'll look really stunning with a pair of um, like a chocolate colour or a blue colour pair of pants or a blue jacket even. Um, but that is that is a really, really pretty. They are such gorgeous fabrics and the quality is amazing. The other ones we got were from the winter range, which was the um, start of the year, and I didn't get them all in. I only got a couple. So they're a little bit of a heavier viscose, not, not heavy, but you'll feel the weight is a bit more of a brushy viscose weight, so a tiny mm. bit heavier than the summer weight ones. But that one's a restock, that Retro Vibes. That sold out really quickly. It's just so vibrant and fun. And the coat that they have featured in the pick with it I actually, I love it so much, but of course the fabric, I couldn't get any more of the coating. But I want to make that pattern, and I actually mm. found a purple um, check wool that I purchased um, oh, probably a few months back now, and I think it'll go really nicely with that. But I want to do it with that magenta lining, so I want to copy, almost copy what they've done with mm. that pattern. But I'm going to try and get hold of the Italia Jupe coat patterns, but maybe towards the end of the year, I think they are going to reprint them. Right, okay. But this one is their winter, mm. their winter range, which is the start of the year. That beautiful petrol uh, and floral, that really nice dusty pink and the gold throughout it, with like a char chartreuse colour gold throughout it as well. But that one is that nice, more of a viscose twilly weight. But I think uh, the way they've done that in the pics with the wrap dresses, they look amazing. So um, they are my new Italia Jupe. Prince. Now, we've had some new bits and pieces come in the store. We are stocking um, this a really amazing brand of interfacing or interlining, as it's called. And this was sourced from a wholesaler that does um, specifically cater for dressmaking um, students in, in um, mm -hmm. design schools and that kind of thing. So it's not something you can just buy off the shelf. And I have been told about 
particular interfacings from a few of my customers. That stuff that you buy sometimes can be so hard to work with that it can bubble up and the yeah. glue. Yeah, it you don't like it either, do no, you? No, it doesn't stick. And there's nothing worse than using it on a collar and having it like bubble up and move and shift around. Yeah. So I've been on the on the hunt for a good quality woven interfacing in a light and a medium weight. And I finally found what I wanted. And it was really funny because when I ordered it, I, I thought, this is it. This is this is the yeah. one. And I received it and I thought, oh, this is totally not what I thought it would be. It feels like it feels like like a stocking. Well, it's, like a, it's really interesting. I'll show you what I mean. Continuous curtaining. Well, it's, you know? not, it's kind of not, but no. it's like really lovely and soft. And it's woven, but it's also got a little bit of, you know, it looks like a little yeah. bit of a knit. And it's not a knit interfacing. It's definitely a woven. And I actually rang the supplier and I said, this is going to sound really stupid because I've never used it. Is this the right thing? And he said, yeah, have, have you tried it? And I'm like, no, not yet. Wanted to make sure it was right. <laughs> so go and try it. And sure enough, oh, my goodness, I'm going to put some pics up and show you what I mean. So when you see it, it looks almost sheer. One side's smooth. One side's got like a rough kind mm. of grain through it, which is the, uh, I think it's a polyamide um, glue or the dots that are inside the fabric. And when you apply heat to it with that fusible side down, and I use my um, my cloth, it turns into something totally different. And I'll show you what I mean in the pics. Uh, one side is the, the medium weight and one is the lighter weight. So when you actually um, fuse it with a hot iron, it actually turns into something totally different. So it turns into like the texture of the fabric um, and it loses that sheer and that that kind of knit look to it. And because there, because it has got a slightly knit effect to it, you don't get all that bubbling and shifting. Like it moves mm. with the woven because it's woven. It's not essentially like a papery, thin, yeah, fusible. Wow. It's really amazing stuff. And that the top bit there, you'll see it's on a linen here. The bottom bit, the lightweight fusible, has really just disappeared into the fabric and given it that nice stability. But the top bit is the, the medium weight. Both would be perfect for things like collars and cuffs. But... It is a game changer. Um, I can't wait to see what you think about it. I've got black <clears throat> and white and I've got them both in light and medium weight and I just think it's it's incredible. So it has drape to it, whereas normally, you know, you have fusible mm. interface and you've got no drape. Yeah. It's just like papery and it is awful mm. stuff to work with. I just This stuff's brilliant. I think it's just because it's woven and it's got drape, it feels like fibre. Um, you know, you can see on the back the... the uh, the glue is kind of inside the fibre and when you put heat, it, it turns into that piece of fabric. It mimics it. Um, so, yeah, it is amazing stuff and I can't, yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys think about this. And if, has any of you ever used that before? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it because um, definitely something new to me and I'm really excited to be mm. stocking that in the store now. So we want to have a one-stop shop so you can get things like, you know, fusibles, thread. Uh, eventually we'll be getting stocking regular thread as mm. well. Um, things like your buttons and your bits and pieces. We've also got the very famous YKK zips and some really good quality invisible zips as well there because I know that a lot of you do want quality um, fittings and fixtures and bits uh, bits and pieces. Mm. So to me, uh, I don't want to be stocking things that are going to fall apart and I absolutely hate those cheap zippers because you go to all that trouble of making something um, perfect Best. quality and it's yeah. just, just yeah. gets destroyed. So really good quality uh, brands of invisible zippers. And you'll see there's some with copper on them as well. At the moment we've got your white, black and navy, but, yeah, they are really good quality zips. You know, the lovely little um, zipper pulls as well. Look at the quality of that. So they're not going to be falling apart when you're no, like sewing the a zip copper. front or Yeah. Too. I've got a plan to make myself something out of some checked wool at home. Um, one of the new patterns that I received in this week, and that's the Mason Faux at Sunset. Now, I want to do a checked uh, woolen coat with that nice long line copper, like open front zipper. So that one there, I think Phoebe's got her eye on one of these as well. I think it's La Veste Ispahan. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but that one is absolutely beautiful in a jacquard as well. They're so popular, these patterns. I just can't keep up with them. I've been doing an order every week, I think. And I think Phoebe's also got her eye on this Kim skirt. Um, I love the pics. I'm going to show you guys the line drawings, but the pics of this skirt, um, the front cover, you can't see the detail in it, but it's such a lovely skirt on. It's got a lot of mm. nice little details. Um, also, yeah. the Mason Faux pillar jacket. Um, you'll see Haley got herself one of these from the kit from Beyond the Pink Door yeah, as well. Um, yeah, in, and we are getting um, a range of denims, stretch denims in. 
and corduroys coming from the UK and they should be here within another week. So if you're wanting something to sew up these beautiful pillar jackets with that beautiful um, dash detail on the neck, the denims are perfect for that. They're mm -hmm. about a 97% denim, 3% spandex because I like a little bit of give. Yeah, yeah not, <laughs> not a huge fan of like a woven uh, structured denim. A lot of people love it, but I love that little bit of softness that it gives with a bit of stretch. Um, the Ray jacket is another new one from them, but don't you love all their pattern envelopes? Yeah, beautiful packaging. So gorgeous the way they're packaged. And also the Lise Taylor Pauline skirt or Pauline dress, that one goes with that beautiful Louisiana and artifice fabrics that were in her summer range. And I know that's, of course, very summery for now, but just such a beautiful mm. pattern, beautiful dress on. Now, Stylark, I have just sold out of the brand new dress, the Palma shirt dress. They've all gone, but I'm getting more of those in. But we've also got the new yo-yo set, um, knit set that was very popular with their newest releases. And also this uh, Phoenix sweatshirt. Now, Mum actually saw this in the yes. Yeah. The cable knit. Oh, you yeah. going to make one of these? Yes, I wouldn't mind making one of those. Actually, the cable, the cable knit. knit. There you go. I think you should definitely make one and show us all. We want to see how it works, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> because they're great patterns, style like. Yeah. And also the Tazuti brand new Torino vests. I have restocked as well, and they sold out like lightning speed. I think after you guys saw the um, new pattern releases for June and saw it with a ball ball. Mm -hmm. um, I am in the process of got mine cut out now. I've got to get it sewn up, but um, I'm waiting to see that. Yeah, I think it'll be so handy, and of course, you know, for wearing hanging your arms free, the vests are great. But just the liner that that is a gorgeous pattern. I've also got the London coat, uh, new boyable patterns in for um, Tazuya that I haven't saw before. The Verona jacket, which is another really nice little crop mm. jacket. That one would be really great for you too, yes. like a swingy little yes. jacket. And the Florence coat. Um, so I do have just about all of their boyable. Um, patterns you're wanting some boil ball to go boil ball patterns to go with your boil ball fabric you're going to get everything here together I've also restocked some of those hazelwood sweaters as well because you guys love that little butterfly one that I, I made I have already worn that heap it's been a great little staple um, to wear with a pair of jeans I've restocked for the, all our sewing notion goodies we've got the charcoal liners which has been a really popular little liner and they've got like a little chalk wheel um you're asking me too what you want which is like? the best you know, marking pen? Which is the best? Do you, well, do you guys yeah. prefer chalk? Do you, or do you prefer the felt yeah. tips? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on yes, your favourite. I haven't and tried the felt tips. So. I think it depends on what fabric you right, use. Right, okay. Like yeah. if you use it, you know, something dark, of course the chalk's good, but yeah. a lighter fabric, I like the, the felt minimal right, I haven't tip tried the pens felt. as well. Yeah. It's interesting. I think it depends on the fabric you use, what, yeah. what to have. Uh, these are so apparently they're great. They're interesting. Yeah, have you heard about these magic, no. the Taylor Seville magic clips? They are um, made so that you can leave them clipped and they've got enough gap underneath that you can run over the top of them because of the, that little bit of, oh. um, they've measured them exactly right so you can sew and have that gap and not have to move the clip. Whereas normally wow, you yeah, have those short yeah. clips, you've got to move the clip out the way before you run it over. These are flat at the end so that you can leave them. Oh, How clever is that yeah. um, without essentially having to run over them because you'll see where the needle's positioned, it is uh, still got still got room there that you can um, run over and not have to mm. uh, hit any pins or any metal. Um, so that's a mm. really ingenious little idea, that one. Yeah, These um, Taylor pins. Seville Magic Pins have been so popular. This one's like a fork prong, which is a really interesting little idea there and great for keeping uh, lots of layers, especially for thicker layers. Um, we've got the extra long magic pins now, and I know they're really popular in store as well. The flat that head, one. which is great. They're all heat proof on the ends, silicon heat proof, so you're not going to melt mm. any plastic. And then we've got the fine, the silk magic pins, so for oh. fine fabrics. Um, so I am loving all the Taylor Seville um, supplies that we have, and the, we've already sold out of the retractable um, yes. seam ripper. So they'll be coming, some more of those will be coming in as well because they have been really popular. So uh, you guys are loving all your little gadgets. The Frida Kahlo mm. box, that was a really lovely box. But you know what? Silly me. I had some pics I took of the finished box and I don't know what happened to those photos or video. But um, I'm going to talk a bit about, show you some images of what was inside. This beautiful uh, cotton lawn uh, Frida Kahlo inspired fabric, of course, with those beautiful parrots and the tropical feel. The nice, uh, leafy, vibrant print mm. really went well with the theme. And I think a lot of you really loved the fabric. And I was a bit uncertain whether this 
being this time of year, you know, May, it is still quite warm in May a lot of the yeah. time. So loved it with the regalia blouse. And that was a really great 30% discount that So House 7 gave for mm. my customers, which is great. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, did you like what we put inside the box? Yes. The, the coin purse. That was oh, oh, I love them. Yeah. yeah La La Land brand. <laughs> um, there was a little coin purse or sewing <laughs> satchel, whatever you want to call it, was a, with a zip front that you guys absolutely loved. Uh, we also had a dusk melt that was mm. a beautiful uh, red dusk melt, beautiful scent. Um, the artisan cookie with the Smarties, yeah. <laughs> um, that was uh, from Charlie's Fine Foods. And we had a little lemon tea bag. And we had a matching thread, didn't we, with a green yeah. thread. So that was uh, a lovely box. Mm. And on the card, I'll put some pics up of the card. You can see the little quotes from Frida Kahlo on the back and the little um, label. Um, yeah, so a lot of you guys had said how much you loved that vibrant box. And mm. also we had uh, the deluxe box for um, the end of April to celebrate one year. And I, I know that a lot of people have shown this, but we had a beautiful Rachel Parker fabric, a vibrant pink or blue with a party spot. Um, how pretty was that? Like confetti. <laughs> yeah, it was just so, yeah. it was so um, pretty to look at. The colours were really yeah. vibrant. And Rachel Parker, of course, um, in collaboration with Dashwood Studios, that was a really pretty three metres of viscose. Um, the pattern in that with the discount was the Helmy blouse from Forget Me Not wow. um, patterns, which uh, was just beautiful. Um, we had a party, real party theme box. We had a little um, tin, remember the little button, button, the button tins, <laughs> and some gorgeous buttons that were all different glittery colours from G Designs because I know you guys love your um, buttons to complement the fabric. We had some little party labels that were from Molly Molly yeah. with a little uh, beautiful mess, I think it was. And the sweet treats. <laughs> Remember those? I know. I had a pack of those and I couldn't stop eating them. <laughs> oh, the lolly gobble bliss bombs. I just I thought, know. will I do it? Will I do it? Yes, I will because, you know what, it reminds me of being a kid. I oh, know. And the whiz fizz. <laughs> whiz fizz was celebrating 75 years of um, <laughs> making whiz fizz sherbet, so we thought we'll put a pack of those in. The magic tea bag actually changed colour to purple when you put lemon in. I didn't did you know say that. that. I know I'd love to hear your thoughts on that as well. <laughs> and the scented gift was the beautiful uh, birthday cake melts from Place of Haven, and she made those up especially yes. to match either the pink or the blue, and that birthday cake scent was incredible. So Just like oh, a cake. It was just like, yeah, we had like a real <laughs> birthday thing. <laughs> I know, we could have put a cake in there. Um, but, yeah, it was just so nice. And we had the special glamorous boxes for our deluxe yeah. um, boxes. The next deluxe box will be the end of June, hopefully. So keep your eyes peeled for that because we're going to be having a really beautiful theme Wow. It's called Jewel of the Nile. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, so another deluxe <laughs> box with, of course, three metres of designer fabric. I'm going to let you know a bit more about that um, in the next week or so. And, of course, that is, um, yeah, you get a bit extra in those boxes, a bit more fabric, and it's always a bit more of a luxury brand fabric. Yeah. Um, all my fabrics, I choose great quality fabrics, but I like to use something a bit more designery and special for those luxury boxes because you've all said you love something a bit more Glam, bit more mm. fabric, um, yeah, and they'll only be once a season, so yeah, yeah. And I think you all love the uh, having the handmade buttons, so I'm going to keep up with handmade buttons in there because my next designer, um, the button designer, I'm going to tell you all about her in that video. Um, she's just beautiful, she's from Australia as well, yeah. so lot to support and little indie yeah. brands, so Cute buttons too. In the next box, you wait till you see, yeah, that's so exciting, but anyway, I think you're going to really love that theme so i'm going to leave you there with everything we've talked about today so don't forget the box launch for the you know, the wild at heart will be 7 p.m sunday night mm -hmm. you can add to the boxes very happy to 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 add and mix orders and that time type, type of thing and if you forget that let me know i can always add to it before they get sent off um yeah and as always there are limited numbers so set that alarm and make sure you remind yourself when they go live so We'll get sewing, but heaps of sewing to do. Yes. <laughs> to finish that vest. So. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank we'll see you. you all next week. Bye. Bye for now.